Thank you to this week's episode sponsors, Beck Auto Parts, the Eye Care Center, and the Barber Shop. I'm Jada Strahan and welcome back to GCTV. Now for this week's announcements. Anyone still wanting to purchase this year's yearbook, see Ms. O'Neill in room 4 for more information. Also, there's a few upcoming dates to mark on your calendar. February 23rd is the school blood drive. February 28th is the junior required ACT and March 3rd is prom review. Bring a dollar to attend. Now for the news of the week. Recently selected students from career and technical education programs competed in Skills USA at Jones College. Skills USA is a partnership for students and industry working together to ensure America has skilled workforce which helps each student excel. They provide educational programs, events and competitions that support career and technical education in the nation's classrooms. Skills USA encompasses so many different avenues for the students but I would say that it's really going to be from the personal point of view also from the workplace and their technical skill point of view but in personal skills obviously they're going to be um, working on the professionalism their planning and their organizational skills also their leadership skills is what they're going to gather from their personal point of view but then when you get into the workplace you're going to be looking at their communication skills um, <clears throat> excuse me, this, and in each event they're going to have their safety and health issues that they'll have to do. But then also each competitive event is going to be a job specific skill. So there's a lot of skills that they develop in personal, workplace, and in technical. A few students who competed in this year already knew what to expect in their competitions because they attended last year through their program. I was excited, but I wasn't that excited because I got a second place in state last year, mm -hmm. and my goal this year is to get first. Chin had to prepare a little differently this year in order to do better. Last year, I didn't get help from anyone. I just did the test, but this year, I got help from teachers, and they tutored me. This year, several of our CTE departments placed. Automotive, placing second. Extemporaneous speaking, placing first and third. Related Technical Math, first, Opening and Closing Ceremonies, second, Prepared Speech, placing first and third, Carpentry, placing third, Teamworks, placing third, and Welding, placing second. In the next few weeks, these students will be working hard as they prepare for state competition in Jackson, March 7th through 9th. Only students who place first will advance to nationals in Atlanta. This is Jada Strahan reporting for GCTV. Now to Ben. Thanks, Jada. With the end of basketball season approaching, comes the spotlight on our star players. One of those players is shaping up to be senior Tristan Pugh, who is a starter on the varsity team. Pugh plays as shooting guard and transferred from Mobile this year. In addition to being a starter, he also plays with a disability. Yeah, uh, when I was born, the umbilical cord got wrapped around my hands so I had to cut it off. Pugh has been playing basketball for as long as he can remember and has strived to not let his disability hold him back. Stuff that people normally can do with two hands, I find I have to do it with one hand, or I can like use it to like my strongness. So like, yeah, it don't really affect me that much. This season has been relatively successful for Tristan, averaging seven points a game and a few rebounds and blocks as well. Despite recently moving here, Pugh has bonded very well with his teammates. As if he's been with them since he, you know, since they got here. Bradley and Pugh strive to increase his confidence in how he approaches the game. He's continuously trying to improve his skill on the court. Um, you know, he's a really good shooter. He just got to, you know, show more confidence in the shot and, and you know, and work, work harder on the defensive end. Tristan's job as a shooting guard means he is heavily involved in the team's offense. The team focuses on a motion tight offensive that heavily plays toward Pugh's strengths. His ability to stretch the floor 
with shooting. You know, people can't bag off of him, so if they do, you know, it leaves him open for three-point shots, and he do a good job at that. Altogether, Pew has been and continues to do his best and be an example of working hard to beat one's challenges. Just work. That's all it is. Just work, man. Don't let people criticize you about it or nothing like that. It's just work. Got to everybody like say for instance, if someone was like to prove you wrong, like he can't do it. Just use his motivation. That's what I do. It'll take you a far long way. Overall, Pew has worked as hard as possible to do his best this season. Now over to Gavin for Rebel Rundown. Thank you, Ben. The Rebel and Lady Rebel powerlifting teams started off strong this year, with several of their team members placing above third place at their first competition. The teams went to Gaucher for the Region 4-5A competition. Senior Sam O'Neill made first place in the 600-pound class. Freshman Haley Stringer made second place in the 148-pound class. Junior Victoria Clayton made second place in the 181-pound class. Junior Carrie Henderson made second place in the 198 pound class, and sophomore Valencia Cook made third place in the 242 pound class. Senior Sam O'Neill is a defending state champion, but he feels like he could have done better. Restart? Yeah. I wasn't as strong as I hoped, and my maxes could have been a little bit better, my form could have been a little bit better, so we'll see by South State. His expectations for the season are 600 plus for his deadlift and 365 for his bench while his stats are 365 for his bench and 525 for his deadlift. Another student looking to excel in powerlifting is junior Victoria Clayton. Through training and confidence, she thinks she will make up huge improvements this year. Last year, she made it all the way to state. Clayton looks forward and exceeding in the 181 class. My weight goal is to get at least 300 pounds in deadlift and maybe 135 at state on bench press. The Rubble and Lady Rebels will travel to Gulfport for the South State Championship. The Lady Rebels will compete March 3rd and the Rebels will compete March 11th. Tennis got off to a good start this year. The next match is at Wayne County next Thursday, February 23rd. Gulf did well and placed 5th out of 12 at Whispering Pines and Hurley. Joshua Glass was named at, to the all-tournament team. Our Lady Rebel softball team will be at home Friday against Biloxi, with JV starting at 5 p.m. and Varsity at 7 p.m. Don't forget to come out Saturday night at 6 p.m. to support the Rebel basketball team as they take on Florence in the second round of the state playoffs. This is Gavin Bradley reporting for GCTV. Now to Kayla. Thanks, Gavin. Hey, Hallie, what are your plans for my girl break? I think I'm going to go shopping in Mobile. What about you, Kayla? I think I'm going to get my nails done. That sounds like a lot of fun. Let's see what other plans everyone else has. I don't have many plans, but I know I'm going to a parade in Pharaoh. I plan to do the parade at the wharf and stay at the beach. Be chilling with fam. We're going to a Mardi Gras ball in New Orleans. Uh, I'm going to Mobile and going to a parade. I am leaving after Color Guard tryouts for every Friday night and I am driving to Disney World and I will be coming home very late on Tuesday because um, I want to spend every moment I can in the most magical place. Wow, those are some great plans. This has been Hallie Shecky and Kayla Maples reporting for GCTV. Now back to Jada in the studio. Thanks girls, great work. We hope everyone has a great extended weekend and stay safe. That's all we have for this week, and this is GCTV.